Hi, everybody. How are you doing? We're doing pretty good here, too. Glad to hear everything's okay. All right. So this video is haiku artwork. Okay. So last week you wrote your haikus for me and they were fabulous. So thank you for your work. I really enjoyed reading those. This week I thought we would have fun with some artwork to go with it and to write a new cherry blossom haiku. So the topic will be about cherry blossoms and, um, and we'll do some artwork that will match that. So I'd like to um, ask you to take something out of your envelope, if you haven't already done that, um, from the instructions from the email. Um, so in the envelope, you're going to find some manila tag, okay, that harder, harder paper that we uh, sometimes use for artwork. And attached to that manila tag, you're going to have an envelope. You'll probably have a white one. And inside that envelope, there's going to be green and pink crepe paper pieces. And I'll show you how to use those in a minute. You're also going to need for our artwork project a pencil. And it doesn't have to have the eraser on it, but if it is, that's fine. And we just need to use that end of the pencil for our artwork today. Plus, we're going to draw with it. And you will also need to have um, either your glue stick or your liquid glue, either one. Okay, whichever one is in your bag or whatever you have at home. I have both here. So I'm going to try it with the glue stick today because I find it easy to work with. If you're going to use with the liquid glue, pour it into a little saucer at home with mom or um, a little piece of Alcan foil just so you have a little puddle of liquid glue and then you can access it that way. To squeeze this glue out to work with what I'm going to show you is hard to do. So you have to pour it out first before we can use that glue. But this glue you don't, you just have to hang on to it, okay? So cherry blossom haiku is beautiful this time of year they're still blooming out there even though we had all that wind and rain on the weekend um i'm some of the trees still have them on there so go take a good look at them if you have one in your backyard or maybe you have a walk in the park again and just take a good look and see all the pretty cherry blossoms if we were in the classroom i would take our class outside walk outside to find our cherry blossom trees and have a really good look of them out there so hopefully at home you can do that Okay, if not, if you can't get outside this week, then you can Google them, YouTube them up and just Google uh, cherry blossom images and you'll see how pretty and tight they are when you see them. Okay, let's get started with the haiku poem first, the cherry blossom haiku poem. And I'm showing you some work that I took a picture of a long time ago from one of my other students in a different school. The topic was cherry blossoms and let's see how she wrote them. Cherry blossoms blow. They bend and twist in the air. Their petals are soft. So you'll notice that's five, seven, five, just like we've been practicing last week. Okay. You're seeing on here now the artwork that goes with it. Now you can do this two ways. You can do it the way we did it here. Poem first, then the art on the bottom. Kind of makes the tree a little shorter. Or you can write the poem on another piece of paper and use this whole manila tag um, as your own artwork, just it by itself. That way you can frame it or put it up on the wall in your bedroom or in the kitchen, wherever you can do that. So maybe it looks nice to have the poem go with it too. So you decide at home, you make a choice, okay? How do we do this? How do we get this artwork on here? Well, first of all, take your manila tag and it's hot dog style, right? Up and down, nice and tall, because cherry trees are tall, right? So you wanna make sure that's nice and tall. And cherry trees come from the ground. So first we're going to draw just a little bit of landscape along the bottom. I'm just gonna use my pencil and squiggle a line for some landscape there. You see that? Then a tree is going to come out from the ground. So imagine how that might look. You might need to start with a trunk of the tree so I just kind of am drawing and guessing after I look at some images of trees. Oh, there's a trunk of a tree. Yeah, could be. And then I'm going to do what the uh, picture showed you. It's a very simple drawing. And it's, I call it the mushroom cap on the top. Okay. Now that's not a detailed drawing. We don't want to detail the drawing because our drawing or artwork turns out to be using the crepe paper. That's the detail. So this is just to hold it inside. So I'll show you, does that look like what the little girl did, right? 
So the prettiness comes and the detail comes from all that other pieces of paper. So you can color the trunk, but we're going to use the green on the bottom and we're going to use the pink on the top. Now, cherry blossom trees have really pretty branches in them. So this is one way to show a cherry tree. Another way is that I'm just going to erase that kind of mushroom cap that I drew because I don't want to draw a lot of detail. But I'm just going to think, what would branches look like? Now, the tricky part to this piece of art is when some students would like to draw, say, I just erase the top. You can, um, you have to be careful with how narrow you make the branches. If you make them too narrow, you can't glue inside them. So I'll just, they'll look kind of weird because they're kind of, um, they're wide, but they'll look really pretty when you fill them, okay, with, with the crepe paper inside of them. Now, and I try my best for, for this kind of drawing. It's very random drawing, but there, let's try that. So there's sort of branches, and you can imagine some of those, how the pink crepe paper would fit inside each one of those, right? So then you might wanna outline those branches in brown, right? Outline them in brown, and the pink will be all inside. The pink one, see, that'll fit inside, okay? So let's take a look at how we can apply all of those pieces of crepe paper inside. So inside your envelope, right, just if you have it already, maybe it's already on the table in piles of green and pink, that would be organized and ready to go. I just took out, I just have a square. They're kind of cut randomly. And thank you to Mrs. Cowley and Mrs. Dowsett, actually, for showing us, uh, for actually cutting these for you to get them into the envelopes. So what I'm going to do is take the end of my pencil, the eraser tip, put it on top. Just gonna fold it in and kind of squirrel it around a little bit. Not too bad. And just hang on to that green because what happens is it tends to want to stick itself onto the glue stick. So I'm just gonna roll it around, hang on to the green. Now I let go of mine a little bit. So I have to try again. And once you get the hang of this, it's easy to do, okay? Let's have some patience and perseverance. You can manage this. And I'm just swirling it around, just the tip of it, not any other, because the tip is how I'm going to put it on, you see? So I'm going to, I hold it up in the air to show you. I'm just going to take that, and I might have to use two fingers, hold, hold one down. There we are, see? It looks kind of weird by itself, but once you do a couple of these, it really starts to build together. Don't leave too many spaces in between because you don't want to see that paper underneath it. You want to see, and I'll just take another one here. I'm just going to put it right beside the other one. See, right beside it. And make sure you kind of puff it up a little bit because the idea is for it to stand up like that. And if I turn it sideways, you can see, see it's popping up off the page there. There, popping up off the page. There, and that looks really good. So you can imagine now you're gonna take one at a time and just line them through, line them through, and then make sure you color this first. The trunk should be colored before you do this. And then I don't have pink to show you because it's in the classroom. I only have the green with me, but take the pink ones now and do the same application. You put it on the end of the pencil, put the glue on, and put them inside there, okay? Might take you a little bit to get the hang of it, in class, we might take about 45 minutes. And if we're not quite finished, I would put them on the drying rack and then we would pull them out the next day and finish it all up. So maybe you have time at home just to put it to the side. That's fine. And, um, or you can finish it all in one swoop, we would say, all at one time. And maybe that will be finished, okay? So I hope you enjoy working on the cherry blossom art along with another haiku poem about cherry blossoms. Now, here's another activity I can add to this. A few years ago, when our Canuck hockey team was winning quite a bit, I made up a hockey haiku artwork, and we did the haikus to go with them. I know we can't watch hockey right now, that's kind of sad, so maybe we can have fun thinking about a poem or a hockey haiku about our Canucks. Or maybe you guys like to have the Blackhawks, or maybe um, Philadelphia, or Montreal, or... Winnipeg, anywhere, any team that's your favorite. This little boy did one for the Canucks. So let's take a look. Aha, it's the same green paper. He drew a nice wide fat hockey stick 
and drew a hockey puck and he colored inside that. And then the poem is about the Canucks. Now he was following the rules of five, seven, five. So he shortened the Canucks to the Nucks is a slang or half a term for how to say the Vancouver Canucks. They say Nucks. So here's his, the Nucks have the puck speeding around the Blackhawks. He shoots, he scores, yeah. There's your 575, that's a fun poem. What can you come up with? Maybe you would like to do the hockey haiku as well. You can do this one and or you can do this one. You can do both or just one, whatever you wanna choose to do. There's a lot of pink and a lot of green, so you can probably do both. If not, maybe there's some at the dollar store, crepe paper mom can buy for you or dad or grandma or grandpa if they're out shopping, maybe, but it's up to you. Try the hot, the cherry blossom one. Try the hockey haiku if you like. You don't have to. One or the other or both, whatever you choose, okay? Have a good week, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. I can't wait to see your artwork and your poems. Bye for now.